Now we have our last little bit of theory on circular measure and that is finding the area of a sector. So say we want to find the shaded area here, so it's the area of this sector where the angle at the middle is theta. Now if we think about this proportionally, the area of that sector out of the area of the circle, so that proportion, what's shaded compared to the whole circle, would be the same as the proportion of theta out of a full 360 degrees, but since we're talking about circular measure, that 360 we would be referring to as 2 pi. So that proportion of the area of the sector over the area of the circle will be the same ratio as theta over 2 pi. Now we can, instead of saying the area of the circle, we'll actually put in its formula, pi r squared. Now we can rearrange a little, and we get the area of the sector is equal to theta over 2 pi times by pi r squared. And now we're going to simplify that down, so we can take out those uh, pi's because they cancel out. And we've got half of theta, or theta over 2, times by r squared, and we usually write this in this order, half r squared theta. All right, now an example. A sector of a circle with radius 4 centimetres contains an angle of 45 degrees. Find the area of the sector. So first problem is we are talking about areas of the sector but the angle's been given to us in degrees. We know that's not going to work. The angle's got to be in radians. So let's turn that into radians first of all. 45 degrees out of 180 is going to be a quarter, so that'll be a quarter pi. So the area is equal to half r squared theta. Make sure you write your formulas, not just go straight into substituting the numbers in. You will get um, marks awarded for correct use of formulae. All right, so that'll be half times 4 squared times pi by 4. And that comes to 2 pi centimeters squared. We will leave it like that. We won't actually work out what 2 pi is, like, you know, on your calculator or anything, because that is a more rounded value. We don't want decimals if we can help it. Next example, a sector has an area of 10 centimeters squared and an angle of pi by 3. We want to find the radius of the circle. So we know that half r squared theta has to equal 10 because we're told that the sector area is 10 and the angle we were given was pi by 3 so we'll substitute that in. Now it's just a matter of rearranging and solving. So r squared will be 60 divided by pi, because we're doing that 10, times by the 2 to get rid of that half, times by 3 to get rid of the third, and divide by pi. So that's 60 over pi. And then r will be the square root of 60 over pi, which will be 4.37. Now, we don't have to worry about taking the positive or negative root. Since we're finding a length, it's going to be the positive square root. And we'll just finish that off by saying centimetres. So the radius is 4.37 centimetres.